they're not here, the PDP and the APC, the two big, bigger parties. They're absent here. Um, they're not here, uh, um, Dr. Obi. They're not here to defend themselves. I just, I guess I want to ask you what your thoughts are on that for 30 seconds. I'm you're, not you're... surprised they're not here. It... <laughs> they have just simply announced their exit from the governance <laughs> of our country. I, I think it is important for us to acknowledge that there is a political class that simply needs to fade away from our country. Because the idea that the will of the people will be subordinated to the whims and caprices of our politicians should be a total anomaly. And today, as we in this country focus on the ideas, competitive ideas that would develop our country if the two dominant parties cared about the Nigerian people, they would come here in order to have a contest of ideas on how we would fix Nigeria. Mark, I must let you know that for the Nigerian people, this is a moment to make a clear judgment as to whether we are connected to the issues that matter to the Nigerian people. We showed up for this debate, not because we're new entrants into politics, and I hope I speak for my two colleagues, that, but because we believe that it is time for a new kind of governance in Nigeria. It is time, it is time for the citizens of this country to take complete charge of the destiny of Nigeria. And so we stand before you today, not because we are the best in the country, but because we come with a sense that our country needs to be immediately rescued from the stranglehold of poor governance, bad politics, and governance failure. I represent a mindset where the citizens who occupy the highest office in the land and give legitimacy to politics should become the drivers of the future of this country. And it starts now. I have to, I have to let Fela Dorotoye come in here. Uh, Fela, you're here, they're not. What does that say? Well, it says that the future is here. That's what it says. And that all things have passed away. But I must say something to you and Mark and to the people of this nation. Pride always comes before a fall. And every time you believe that you have no need to tell the people what it is that you're going to do, it means that you are not there to serve them in the first case. You were going to rule over them. And we should not be surprised for this has been consistent over the last 20 years. We have had 20 years of rulership, and rulers do not explain to their subjects what it is that they are going to do. They don't owe it to them. What I think the greatest deceit that we've had to deal with in this nation is that rulers called themselves leaders and make us subjects feel like followers. We are not followers. We are subjects to them. And now it is time to be free. We had had 58 years of independence, but not 58 years of freedom. And now the time has come for us to be free of this bad coin that has two sides that I believe are depicted here. And most importantly, it is time for Nigerians to truly begin to evaluate the things that matter and understand that leadership is about competence, about character, Leadership is truly about people who respect people, people who love the nation, and people who will uphold the law. Now, I believe very strongly that Nigeria has a clear choice to make, and that choice has to be made now. But the evidence of it is here for us to see. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here, yes. young progressive party. Yes, yes. Um, 
like, uh, thank you very much, Mike. Like my two colleagues, I am not at all surprised uh, that the leaders uh, of the APC and the PDP have decided to turn their back on the people of Nigeria and tell them finally that they never amounted to much in their eyes. Now, the reason they are not here, there are two reasons. One is arrogance. They believe that the people of Nigeria have no voice and no choice. That you will always come back to them. They believe that you cannot move away from them. They believe they've trapped you. They've kept you in bondage. They've kept you in bondage for far too long. And it is now time for us to send them a message. The second reason they are not here is because they cannot answer the questions. Very simple, very straightforward. They belong to the old class of recycled politicians who want to come to power with a sense of entitlement, but not a record of performance. They want to come to power with a sense of, of money and, and power, but not a record of service to the people of Nigeria. They cannot answer the intricate questions of the economy, the intricate questions of nation building. They cannot answer even the questions of security that some of them rode to power on in, as former people in uniform. And yet we see our country far less secure than it has ever been. So it is a record of failure on both sides. The APC and the PDP, one is a kettle, one is a pot. And they call each other black. <laughs>